All right, let's talk about how to hold the trombone. Now that we've got it all together, we're ready to hold it. Okay, a couple of reminders. When you set up your instrument, you gotta have that V shape. You should see this in front of your face when you're holding the instrument. If it's more than that, then the bell and the slide are in the wrong spot. So you gotta make sure you got that V shape. Let's talk about the left hand first. The way you hold it is I'm gonna put my slide lock on. You'll notice my habit of if my slide lock is off or on, a lot of times I put my pinky here. And that's a good habit. It's a good slide uh, protection to make sure your slide doesn't fly away. But if your slide lock's on, you don't have to put your pinky around that. But let's talk about our left hand. This is kind of the shape right here. It's kind of in the shape of a gun, right? And you have your pointer finger pointing like this and kind of your thumb up and your other three like this. And that's gonna fit, you bring the trombone over, your thumb, goes right there, okay? First finger goes up to the mouthpiece. If your finger's too short and it can't reach there, then you can kind of put it here or maybe along the side. My fingers are long enough so it goes up there by the mouthpiece and then my other three fingers fit in that little square right there. And that square is where the slide moves, right? So I'm not gonna put my fingers down here. I'm gonna put them in that square, my thumb, Kind of, not my thumb like this, but kind of the pocket of your thumb right there. And you hold it like that. That's your left hand, okay? Here, here's what it looks like kind of from a different angle, right? Got my trombone here. Kind of stick it in here, just like that. Now let's talk about the right hand. Your right hand just grabs the slide right here. Now I, I see a lot of trombone players, they just do it with their thumb, and their first two fingers. A lot of people even say fingertips, like this. You don't wanna hold it like this. You don't wanna muscle it, right? Don't grab it like it's a big piece of meat and you're gonna chomp on it, <sighs> right? You just wanna do these first two fingers and your thumb, your other fingers. You don't really want them straight underneath like that. Kinda of just hold them out here. And you can move that slide, great. And you just use your arm to move it. And that's how you hold the instrument. The last part of the instrument I want to talk about when you hold it is right here. A lot of people try to put that on their shoulder. And if you rest it on your shoulder, when you play, it's going to cause you to go like this. And kind of squat your head. And you don't want that. The rule is you bring the instrument to you. So you want to bring that mouthpiece to you. Sit up or you stand up really tall. You bring the mouthpiece right to your face. And a lot of times, that's going to cause it to kind of rest against your neck right here not down here on your shoulder rest against your neck you don't want it touching the side of your face like this right you want it kind of you know, get my ear sticking out there you want it that V shape right here see that see that V right here keep that V kind of goes on the side of your neck then you can play got your left hand correct your left hand holds the instrument your right hand does the slide movements. Whenever your right hand is off, stick that pinky there so your slide doesn't fly off and fly away from you. All right? That is how you hold a trombone. Also, when you're not playing, remember we got this little thing on the end? You don't want to slam it on the floor, but you just rest it on the floor right in front of you. Just have your hands right here and your instrument can rest on the floor. Try it out.